What up, and it's John Shaboy, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And today, we are going to be racing Red Butt. I think it's an like eight minute plus two. Currently working like a weird schedule, IRL. Got like seven days like straight of working. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just didn't get to qualify or try to qualify. I don't know if I would have made it or not. But uh, this is Red Butt. I have the huge shout out to RC Designs for amazing gear. And I have the huge shout out to Cryco for the amazing uh, bike. Um, would have loved to actually rep all this off for actually you know red bud but unfortunately couldn't you know irl comes first just a little bit around here but i'm glad to be able to be here try to get at least a race for you guys so we're gonna lock in get your lickies and chewies um yeah appreciate you guys for literally all the support lately i greatly appreciate it man um yeah just see what we can do here at the good old red buddy i've done a couple laps and testing and all that I haven't really checked what like great times i have on here but i'll try our best see if we can get a good start as this server seems to be like really choppy and like frame droppy. Shouldn't be like on my end, dude. I'm rocking like a whole 4090 i9. So this is definitely the server or just, I guess the track map. I'd be able to withstand this much. What did I just hit? What did I just hit? <laughs> Was that a, did I hit a SpongeBob? Got the funnel to the outside just a bit. Oh gosh, I can't believe I just jumped over both those dudes. Oh my god. That was absolutely insane. I actually did not think that was going to work out. Take this full outside, why not? Yeah, see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the map is like barely rendering. Very weird. Inside spot. See, I'm, I'm starting to get the, the vibes of Paula Round 1 on this track to where like everything is so close and compact. It's so weird, dude. I just don't know if I gel with, with tracks like that to where like all these ruts are so close and like you're literally bar dragging almost every time everywhere and it's just i don't know it's a it's an iffy for me probably could have stayed a little bit more railed right there i feel like this freaking right here dude i can hit like a really nasty scrub at times off that but this little rocco's leap first freaking impressions in a race first time here we go oh sin i make it Oh, case the crap out of it, dude. That is actually 120 feet. That's actually 120 feet of full straight manpower right there. All right, I know like the outside is the big key here, so we're all gonna be funneling. So I gotta figure out and how to divert away from that as these rollers are starting to beat me up. As long as I can keep a little bit of pace off that guy behind me, I start to really mess up here. All right. Definitely a huge OJ, but we're all right. I just want to keep that guy behind me, and I need to actually not focus on him. I need to focus on this guy in front of me, which is on a 450. So we're going to have to try to keep up a lot of pace and see if he's going to get upset with that bike. Check this little inside spot. Couldn't even slow down for it. Imagine. Imagine trying to go for that and didn't even land for it. L me. L rider. Inside spot's really nice, too. So I like third gear. Nice. Be able to make that fourth gear full sim. Man, these jumps are huge, man. I mean, I think realistically, um, whoever actually made this track has like done like a really great job of like over exaggerating of how big this like track is and like how it is IRL. And leader goes down. Leader goes down. And I feel really great here, though. I feel like I would have had a really good race pace. I don't know what my qualifying time would have been. Um, but I think my race pace would have been A-OK -okay for a bit until the E-Road starts kicking in because this track definitely looks very one-lined. Very cookie-cutter. I haven't really seen too much of what the races looked like on the qualifying for EU or anything. Uh, I'm literally currently like working like 12-hour shifts like straight, so I haven't really been on the internet at all. Um, person I would have watched was Lens. I think I watched him do like one qualifying lap and ran like a 150. So I don't know if he ever broke that 150, but I watched like the first five, 10 minutes just to see like if the lines that I was taking when this track first came out was going to be like the same he was, and they were. So maybe just a little bit better than what I was thinking. So yeah, other than that, I mean, realistically, I think I would have been a okay. I wouldn't have been no top qualifier, but I think I would have had fun. I think it would have been right here. This. This roller section would have been like either and like this and like towards the end of the end of the track right before the finish line would have been like the the spot whether you would have made a lot of time you would have lost a lot of time to be honest with you everywhere else seems like a good spot work off of try to make up time but that would have been like 
the deal breaker whether you would have like lost all your time after doing a two minute lap at least in my opinion from what i'm thinking of where, where i would have struggled at the rest of the track though feels absolutely beautiful it's actually really amazing beautiful track somebody's on my inside is that what i just saw is that my was that my ghost or what what the heck was that oh you might be oh you know what there is a tandem bike rider in here might be that guy there was a i think i did see a tandem bike rider and that might be that guy because that guy I, I don't know i saw like some i saw somebody on my side unless i'm unless i'm like literally like hallucinating or losing it but i could have sworn i saw somebody on my right side that's so unfortunate if i took him out i really don't know about this dude this tabletop is so huge that's hard to make dude you have to be so perfect right there and i feel like you would just lose more time trying to take the outside so i really don't know what the qualifying laps are i don't know if you know there was a really good one i think maximus was trolling me when he was in my chat but he was talking about he had a 153 which i don't even think is not like not bad or like not impossible but lens was uh, running a 150 on a 450 i would assume maybe we're like couple seconds off that pace maybe like 155 would have been top quality i don't know hard to tell hard to tell these days the yamaha still feels great i did hop on the honda for a bit just to see and that that bike is not it for me right now like that bike's just not it on this track at least but i'm hitting that joe shimo line for show you shout out to joe shimo don't you know i feel like you could have scrubbed that you could scrub this that's a good line for me i don't know how like how bad or good that line is but it feels pretty nice i don't even know what my lap times are which that one didn't even count i don't even know where i went off the track that's like somebody's right right behind me like two seconds i don't see anybody maybe i see one person that was the guy in first so maybe i just have some really bad cuts and now he's actually right up on my tailbone scrub also they picked me up a new controller um, I was really having some bad stick drift, dude. I ended up getting me a new controller, and I feel completely better. Um, I might mess with my... Um, what do you call that? Uh, I can't think of it at the moment. But you basically turn it up so you can stop getting stick drift. I think I was at, I think I was at 5%. I haven't touched it yet, but maybe I can go back down to like 0 or 1 and feel better about myself now instead of staying at 5. I know it messes a lot with your controller, though, and turning, so I might be able to get more value out of that going back down and that dude that line's so hard to get like you just have to be in first gear right there like you have to be in first gear right there there we go scrub let's go to the outside why not fourth gear Scrub again. Looks like we got a yellow flag. Somebody's down. Hopefully this bike's not on the track though. Alright, full rail here. Upshift early. And dig, dude. And dig. I think it's the only way you're making LaRocco's leap, dude. Early upshift. That was beautiful though. A nice little race pace going on us. Yeah, hit him with that Deegan line. Crossing. And I think scrub, come here, low. That felt nice. I think that would have been my line if I would have actually under, like found that out. Because I just hit a 157. I think that's my PR. I've really tried to see like what's my fast laps or whatever. But a 157.9, I know exactly where I probably could get like a 156. And it's that... Okay, what just happened? Dude, what is my bike doing, bro? Stop. I get past, I did, bro. Imagine. I didn't even know that guy was closing in on me like that. I'll be 100% honest. I'm not even gonna lie. I did not know he was closing in on me. And I literally front tucked in the, like, the weirdest spots. That was a bad place to front tuck to. It's alright. We should be able to make it back. Because I literally passed him by him like literally crashing out. So... Maybe he'll make another mistake. I just threw away the lead, or at least a good battle for the lead. I probably could have held him off. Yeah, this this wherever this uphill spot is, like the it's hard for the for the track to render up there for a second. Very weird. Let's go first gear. I still can't connect in there. It's gonna freaking mess me up more than ever. 
my bike is loaded dude that's what i don't like either is that when you guys make these when you god you make these ruts so bad that you can't even get out of them and when you fall dude the bike literally just bounces over and over and over again oh my gosh dude i mean l me for falling right but damn dude no mercy huh Now I got so much more grit. I got to like fight back so much more than what I thought I could have. Like I at least had him in my sights, but now I don't. This is unfortunate, dude. Oh wait, he might've crashed right here. Wait a second. I did see somebody just come back on the track. Might be him. That is him. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, that's probably him. Unless he's all the way at the finish line and that was a lap rider. This might be a lap rider. There's no way he's fallen that many times. with the Joe Shamo. Scrub. Not no scrub. Oh my gosh, dude. The bike is just gone. I'm literally letting third place catch up to me so tremendously right now. This is unfair. <laughs> this is unfair, bro. I literally had like a whole 20 second lead on this guy. <laughs> Man, dude. It's so crazy how like quick this, get this track is so unforgiving. Like so it literally, you can give, 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 and it'll take so quick, bro. Now I've got to try to fight off this guy behind me as if, like, I literally didn't just have a 20-second gap on. Man, it's the love of the sport, though, you know what I mean? You could be cooking, chillaxing, and in one minute, dude, you're gone, bro. One upset, man. One upset. This is a lap rider. Good old lappy. 19th place right there, huh? outside hopefully he doesn't cross me maybe i can stand the inside on him i can first gear seems to help out a lot though trying to connect in these spots these ruts i will say that in first gear what first gear here dude it just feels like the bike can literally connect in first gear like what what is this game bro nice I didn't feel bad. Definitely off the pace now, but I'll honestly keep... I'll honestly be happy with a podium situation here. Fourth gear, maybe through the corner. Fourth gear, maybe through the corner. Okay, fourth gear through that corner instead of upshifting late. So fourth gear, you, you gotta already be in fourth gear, take that corner, and then I think you're chilling. That's probably like a, a pro motive right there that I just kind of didn't understand. Fourth gear, probably do this too, huh? Thoughts? Probably have a whole lot more drive. That's dangerous, dude. This whole section's just dangerous. Like, look, I can't even turn the bike, bro. <laughs> what the hell? As long as I can keep... Dude, I would be so embarrassed right now if this guy literally caught me. Whoever was in third place, because he literally came up so quick. I don't even see him, though. I don't even see him. I can't be too embarrassed though by the guy that's lapping me in first because or gapping me because he is on a 450. So he probably just found that consistency, which is cool with me. First gear. First gear literally lets you connect in everything. <laughs> what is that, dude? What does that mean? First gear is literally letting you connect in everything if you want it. So duly noted, I'm gonna keep that in my mind, bro. Just drop down the first gear if you really want to connect in any of these tight ruts. If not, the bike just gets bad physics. Like right here, watch. First gear. Insane, dude. Insane. Watch. First gear. Insane. If I would have been in like third gear, bro, I would have like got jumped all the way out to the outside. It's so weird. Suzuki down for the count. I will say that I do enjoy the track. Even like... It is one line for sure. There is no like, I mean, a little bit of spots. You can go here outside. You can go far outside or you can go inside. But for the most part, this is one track, especially when you get up to La Rocco's Leap. Like you're not making any time unless you are hitting La Rocco's. Fourth gear. Nice. Nice, big tabletop. This is the last slap, right? I believe so. Oh my god. Oh, I couldn't make the turn. Couldn't make the turn. Oh, 
Oh, last lap now. What the heck? I thought that was last lap. Dang. Okay. We're chilling then. I'll be vibe. And the guy behind me did fall or crash, so I have a he fell back hard. Holy smokes. Dude. He was like he was like eight seconds off of me, dude. Looks like he got the cheese too. <laughs> Looks like he got the cheese too, bro. How it be these days. Just as how it be the ba 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 days. Nice. I got dropped like good three seconds off the pace off of him. I don't know if he messed up somewhere or not. We probably gained it right back right off that little section I just messed up on. Well, outside right there is really nice. And then you can really send it down here. If you can drop down the first gear, you'll be straight. You can connect it right there. I'm literally, kid you not, I didn't even know that. Like literally first gear. <laughs> It feels so much more planted when you get into one of these spots. Like, literally, I feel so much better doing that. I feel so much more planted, more trustworthy of the bike, and, like, the bike's actually going to stick in the rut. It is absolutely insane to me, and I'm in fifth gear for what reason? That was a bad line, too. Oh, such a bad line. I might hit the gritty on this guy's front door, side-by-side side, type John. Oh, see you later, scrub. <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, LaRocco's takes no prisoners. Little good old red bud. See that? Like, it's. A, it, I think you're more prone to bar drag in a higher gear. What? I don't know what that outside is, too. My, my back end slips every time. Okay, right before the finish line, more upsetting stuff. Not a bad race though. I did drop back down. I did kind of sell this. I did kind of sell this whole race, dude. But GG, uh, Ezra.